Some girly pressure by the Coyotes, but no goals. Here comes Anderson, the defenseman, walks in, drops the pass back, and a shot. Scores! Carter Shevin nails it, and the Coyotes go up 1-0. That time, new defenseman Steele Anderson took the puck in on the right side, dropped it back. And uh, at that point in time, Carter Shannon had a kind of a clear way into the net, got in front, let a shot go, and was able to beat Heslop, who was back in on net. Not much uh, Stephen could do on that. Coyotes up one to nothing. Also going in, Evan Laura. They back down into the corner. Aussie trying to get it out. They get it to the line. That's it. Now they get a chance. Move it out to center, but moving back is Cody Allen. Checked. He goes right back in by in his own zone. Drops it off now for Colton Rhodes, but he can't get it by. Right in centering pass. Shot. Scores! Number 26, Lyndon Gold getting the goal. Yep. Might be one assist on it, but the Coyotes didn't clear that puck very well. It cost them. 7.28 to go in the first period. Lots of noise here tonight. And a decent crowd as well on a Friday night. The Coyotes have it. They try and bang it in, and they do! That took eight seconds on the power play for the Coyotes to connect. And it was a goal mouth wackage of the puck, and it's in, so we'll have to wait and see. But getting the hand slapping on the way in uh, was uh, Braden Tuck, indicating that he's the one who put it in there, and it comes at 12.40. Power play goal. Gaver has it again. He was a Coyote last year, traded to Sikaboos, and ends up here in the Posse. There's a high pass knocked down in there by LaRue, cutting right out in front, could get a shot away. Another one scores! I believe that's going to be Braden Tuck's second goal of the game. Able to get that one after LaRue let a shot go. And he was able to whack it in behind Stephen Heslop. Heslop, I think, made the first save. And uh, that was it. Comes at 15 46. Let's see what type of games Randy has at intermission in the second period. That's what that announcement was about. Colin Bell gets the draw back to the line. Robinson over on the far side. Bell has it again. Down deep, back to Bell, back to the blue line. Shot, scores! Reiner Glenpo pulled the string on that one. A power play marker on a shot from the blue line that just whizzed by everybody and into the corner of the neck left side. Comes at 740. And that makes it four to one. Coyotes are two for three on the power play. And this is their fourth shot at it. There's a high shot by Morrell coming in from the blue line, slashing call. And the Coyotes, really, if they score this power play, could put this one away. Here's a shot, loose scores! Austin Claver getting his fourth of the year in a power play and it comes at 8 0 8. Makes it 5 to 1. Johnson in behind the net tries to get it down to Reed Wilson. Back, they center it. Colton Rhodes goes in deep. There's his scores! I think that was tipped in front. Colton Rhodes let a shot go from deep in the face on circle. And it looked like 
It was tipped out in front by Reeve Wilson. And the Coyotes are now in control of this one. Comes exactly at the 10 minute mark. Coyotes are looking for their sixth straight win. And they're on their way to getting it. Of the season, presented by Coyote Advisor Ron Vesco, personal about those solutions. Scored by number 10, Lee Wilson. With the assist by number 22, Ryan Morrell. Ryan Morrell and the assist. 20 to tie 10 from 22 at 10 minutes. So there's the announcement, 10 minutes exactly. The Coyotes up 6 to 1, Wilson from Morrell. Coyotes have a deep again. Center it scores. LaRue right out in front. Luck gates have opened here. That one coming at 10 41. So they started with the power play goal at 8 08 by uh, Austin Cleaver. 10 minute mark even. It's uh, Reed Wilson and 10 41 here. The Coyotes LaRue pumps it in, and they go up seven to one. Tough to pick stars when you got the seven to one hockey game. There we go. Number 22, Ryan Morrell. Ryan Morrell. I <laughs> Braden Tuck's number, our second star tonight. And the first star of the night from the Asuna's Pilots, number 14, Reiner Grimple. And Reiner Grimple uh, gets the first star. 